What is up guys, Sly Spy Gaming back again with another Elden Ring modding video. In this video I'll be teaching you how to download, install, and use Mod Engine 2 created by Catalash. This will be essential for the very popular Seamless Co-op mod. It will also help with tons of other miscellaneous mods that you will want to use in the future. If this video helps you guys out, make sure that you smash that like and subscribe button as I'll be making tons more mod videos in the future. So if you are familiar with my other mod tutorial videos, such as how to mod with UXM or how to mod with Elden Mod Loader, then this will be similar and will be one of my longer videos. If you want to or need to skip ahead, feel free to head down to those timestamps below and get to the section that you need. However, be forewarned that most of this should not be skipped. There are quite a lot of steps that are required when modding, so I recommend watching through and not skipping through it. I try to be thorough, especially when making mod videos, because any misstep can be potentially game breaking for you, which leads me to step one, which is as always, making a backup of your save data. So if you have seen my other videos, you'll know that this is always the first step when modding. You should always be making a backup of your save data. This is just in case any issues do happen when modding, you can always have that save to go back to. You can find your save data by going to this location here. This will lead me to step two, which is downloading and installing Mod Engine 2. So for those of you who have seen my how to mod using UXM video, Mod Engine 2 is very, very similar to that, with one of the biggest differences being the fact that it injects the mods into the game without actually having to unpack the game and patch the game. Not only does it reduce the hassle of that process, but it also saves quite a bit of hard drive space for you as well. However, one downside to this mod currently is that it technically is a preview build, which means that not all the bugs have been ironed out just yet. Now that you know what Mod Engine 2 is all about, I'll go over how to download and install it. To download this mod, head down to the link that I marked in the description below. This will send you to the GitHub page for Mod Engine 2, where the incredible mod author Catalash has laid everything out for you. Once here, Head down to Assets, then select the Mod Engine 2.0 zip file. Depending on when you're accessing this, it may look a little bit different for you, but it should look very, very similar to what you see here. So once that zip file has been downloaded, open up the zip folder and you will see a slew of different files and folders. If you want to read some more of the info on the mod itself, check out the readme.txt file here. Now you can take all these files from the zip folder and extract them wherever you would like. Personally for me, I have a folder on my desktop here called Elden Ring Modding. This is where I actually put all of my different modding files and my saved backups. This is actually where I've extracted that zip file to here. I would highly recommend that if you are planning on getting into modding, that you make a similar folder like this just so that you can keep track of everything like I have here. It can get pretty confusing, especially when you're delving into the world of modding, which is why Mod Engine 2 is so amazing because it keeps everything separated from the actual game files of Elden Ring. In my modding folder is actually where I store my Elden Ring save and file backups as well. So once you've extracted all the files to the location that you have chosen, you'll see a specific file called launchmod underscore Elden Ring dot This file right here. I recommend creating a shortcut of this file on your desktop so that you can launch this directly as if you do not launch the game this way, it will not launch with any of the modded files. You can see that I've actually done that right here. Let's head over to Nexus Mods where I'll show you guys how to actually install any mods that you want and how easy it actually is to use this. So because my current build, I'm rocking the Moonvale Katana, I'll be downloading the Super Buff Moonvale mod by Clever Raptor 6. If you haven't been to Nexus Mods before, from here what you want to do is go to Files on any of the mods that you like, and here's where you'll actually see the main files that you want to download. What you want to do is go here to Manual Download, Slow Download, and that's how you'll download any mods from Nexus Mods that you down. Now that it's downloaded, we'll open this zip file. As you saw before, the mod author said to just move this CHR folder directly into mods. So we've downloaded this mod. Any file that you will be downloading, any mod that you will be downloading from Nexus will go directly into this mod folder. This is how Mod Engine 2 will actually import any of the mods that you download into the game. So make sure that any mods that you do download, you're putting into this mod folder. I'll also download the Torrent Metal Gear Rising Blade Wolf by Dimensionero, just because it looks super awesome. Be aware when downloading multiple mods that they might conflict with each other, so just be wary of that. It doesn't necessarily mean that Mod Engine 2 isn't working, it just means that you might have to take whatever those two mods are that are conflicting with each other 
out. So once I download this file here, we'll start up Elden Ring by hitting that launchmod.bat file and we'll test out these mods. So now that we have both of those mods inserted into this mod folder here, what we are going to do is go over here to launchmod underscore Elden Ring.bat. Hit that. And as you can see, the game is started up here. So we are loaded in here. We'll test out the Moonvale mod first. So what this will do is it will actually use Moonvale's typical kind of magical slash, and it does it in every single time that you slash or hit with the weapon. So let's test that out. And look at that, that is awesome. Here's what happens when you actually use Trample Moonlight is, as you can see, it coats the blade. So yeah, this one is pretty awesome. And as you can see, it has worked. So next we will try out the Torrent Replacer mod. What this mod should do is replace Torrent with the Metal Gear Rising Blade Wolf from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. All right, let's test it out now. And look at that, ah, oh, definitely does not feel very lore friendly and is a little, uh, little stiff, but it works. So as you can see, Mod Engine 2, definitely go and get that. Definitely go and check out some of those different mods on, uh, on Nexus there. And if this video did help you guys out, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment below letting me know if you are having any issues. Please let me know in those comments below because I can definitely try to help you or you can post the link to the mod. If you are new to modding and don't know about the mod conflicts and things like that, I can definitely help you out with that. So please let me know in those comments below. And until next time, everybody, this is Sly Spy Gaming, signing out.